Okay, I'm back. I have all my edges taped. And I've gone around and I've pressed those down. You'll find once you start watching a lot of different people do different projects, you'll pick up a lot of different tips. And uh, so I was watching um, Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. She has um, a lot of videos on YouTube. Um, she does really great work. And what she does at this point is she takes her bone folder and runs it along the edge of her book. So I'm going to do that. Just gives it a little bit of a crease. And um, at this point in your project, what you want to make sure is you're, you're not going to rush. You're going to take your time and work the paper because you don't want your paper to crease. Now some pa uh, to crack. Some pa paper, you know, it just cracks. And um, you want to try to avoid using that for your cover if you can. Um, but if it cracks, sometimes there's um, things you can do. You can fix almost anything and uh, add some embellishments uh, uh, to make it work. But at this point, what you want to do is you just want to start rocking your edges of your book. Just real gentle, just to get that paper to start bending. I um, hope you can see me. I'm just taking it gently uh, back and forth. Like I said, normally I would be doing this on my kitchen counter where I would have more room. I guess I should have thought about putting my camera there. But you're just going to start working your paper. And some paper is easier to work with than others. So you just want to kind of work that. Same with down your spine. You're just going to start easing that crease. You don't want a, a definite, uh, a real hard crease. Okay. Now the other thing that uh, Ginger does is she comes along the outside edge. It gives that a little bit of a press. Which is kind of nice as well. And so then once you get it to where you feel like you can successfully fold that paper all the way over, You're going to be ready to start removing your tape. And get your cover down. So once you get it to where you feel like you can really bend it, you're going to start removing your tape. And then you're going to start taping down. Let's take your time. Okay, so I think I can do my sides. So I'm going to come in and take my tape off. I have a habit of always sticking my finger in the tape. I 
I usually just do one side at a time. So now I'm going to just come in and gently fold that up and press. I didn't remove that tape there. That was silly. Let's see if I can get that out. And then once you get that where you want it to be, you're going to take your bone folder and really give that a good press. I'm going to see if I can sneak this piece of tape out. Yeah. I keep a pair of tweezers handy too, in case I ever need that to go in and get a little piece of tape. So you're going to just come down with your bone folder and give all that a good press. Now I'm going to work the other side as well. Take off all my tape. And do the same thing. Just start to ease it over. I love this dotted paper. Okay, so once you got that done, you're going to come in and press again. Now we mitered our, our ends, so uh, they should fold in and fit very, uh, should fit pretty well. But the other thing I wanted to show you that Cindy does, this is a great tip. I'm sorry, it's not Cindy, it's Ginger. I don't know, I have Cindy Cindy on, the, on my mind today, and I don't know why. But Ginger, for my sister's scrapper, um, to get a nice edge here, nice clean fold she comes in with her bone folder and presses that corner in again she just gives that a little zhuzh little push And that helps give you a nice corner on your book. Now the closer you cut that, the better your corner is going to be. This one I could have cut a little, cut in a little bit more, I think. If you can see that, that's not too bad though. And then we're going to come in and do the same thing at the other end. Take off your tape. And then I'm going to come in and really push in my corners here. Thank you, Ginger. This is one of the best tips since I started scrapbooking. Just push that in. And then bring in your flap. And then take your bone folder and give it a good press. And then you can flip it over.
and give it a good press. And then again, here, you want to just kind of uh, work the, the spine. I wouldn't go ahead and give this a real deep uh, press, but you just want to kind of guide that so the paper knows where to go and it knows how to bend, but just gently start working because you folded that over. Just start working that paper. And that's our cover. This is going to be um, the front. Now I do have a seam here, but I'll do some kind of embellishment, either roses, uh, flowers, or lace, something. Um, and we'll cover that. And uh, the same with the back. I'll do something there so we can go ahead and cover that. Just want to make sure you have a good seal. And then this is going to fit in here like this. So let's just quick run through. We have two frames on the front. And uh, we'll do something on the inside cover. Just some plain pockets, keeping it fairly simple. And um, a little photo mat there that you can slip a picture in. And we'll do some embellishing around these pages. This is where we did our waterfall. And again, um, and we'll have something in here and some kind of uh, closure. Another frame, we can just slip a picture in the top. Of course, we have all of our photo mats. I was thinking I might embellish these, but maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just come in with some uh, crystals and put on the tabs, decorate the tabs. This is just another pocket. Oh, we have a little flowers. And uh, we'll put either a photo or some kind of a tag in there. Another photo frame, open at the top. And this is fairly simple as well. Here we made our bow, our paper bow. Uh, the thing I'm not liking about this paper bow, and I may have to address that, is that I raised up, yeah, see that's getting all bent. Uh, I think they're getting caught on each other. Um, when the book is closed. So I think I, I need to address that. So I need, either need to come up with something else here or um, I need to do something else there rather than that bow. That bow might come off. We'll see. And then we have our two um, belly bands here. Not sure. Yeah, it's a little too. Two belly bands here where we'll be able to slip photos or journaling cards. And then this is where we did our kind of gate opening. We can slip a photo in there. And uh, then we have little belly bands here. I did put a magnet at the bottom of this to kind of hold that shut. And we'll put we'll put some embellishment on these pages as well. And then we'll figure out something for the inside, the backside cover, and that last page. So we're making progress. I think that'll be it for this video. I'll see you next time. We'll work on the inside uh, of the cover, and we'll attach our book. And um, gosh, then we'll just be down to embellishing, and and our project will be just to be up, be finished. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.